Hi, today we're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to take Elon's specific goals and his stated estimates, and we're going to project what the probable earnings will be for Tesla in 2030. Again, this is not my numbers. These are Elon's numbers. See what you think when we get done here. This is Randy Kirk. If you like this kind of content, you know what to do. Um, I'm looking for more people to join Patreon. We're starting to get a pretty good group, but I would sure like to have at least double, triple the number we have now in order to make it for, for a great conversation. Not everybody that joins Patreon, even my Patreon, did join for conversation, apparently. Um, so I need, I'm need. i looking for those folks who would really like to participate in talking about what the future is going to look like and make some prognostications about how life will be in a world that is kind of uh, Elon Muskish, <laughs> based on all the things that he's trying to accomplish right now. All right, so let's take a look. We just finished uh, looking the other day at, uh, at 2024 and 2025. So there's videos, you can find videos that show 2023, my estimates, show 2024 estimates, show 2025 estimates. I'm gonna skip ahead to 2030. Um, Keep in mind all of these estimates. What do we know? There's so many things that could happen in seven years. But Elon has established some of his own numbers, his own goals, his own expectations. So if we just look at those, we can get some hint as to what might happen in 2030. Take into consideration that what I'm going to be showing you here is auto truck energy. Um, a number, a throw-in number for other services and other things like supercharger network and et cetera, a throw-in number for um, for the, uh, uh, not even a throw-in number, a kind of an estimated number, um, you know, for the IRA uh, tax breaks, uh, because who knows what could happen between now and then on those tax breaks, the government could come in and say, oh my gosh, we never thought it was going to be these numbers, and they could slow it down or stop it. So, uh, anyway, this is the best we, you know, it's just an estimate. Take it for what it's worth. Elon has said he wants to sell 20 million cars in 2030. You can see my base case up there, total auto units, 20 billion cars. I have a bull case, 21 billion cars. It's a little hard to go, okay, we're only going to do 20 billion. So bull case, 21, billion, 21 million cars. Worst case, I'm going to say 17 million. I've seen a couple of reasonably uh, astute uh, estimators, people that uh, are, you know, think that they have something to say about all of this, estimate in the area of 16 or 17 million instead of 20. But if the ramp continues at 50% a year, 20 million will be easy. It'll be uh, before 2030 that he hits 20 million and uh, or that Tesla hits 20 million. So um, take it for what it's worth. That's my, uh, that's how I'm going to spread it. Uh, profit per unit. I'm going to drop the profit per unit. I'm going to say that the competition is there by this time. In other words, what you have is now a mature market. Starting in 2027, 2028, the vast majority, maybe almost all cars made, will be BEVs. Uh, the ice age will be over. I've estimated 2027 as the last year that any significant number of ice vehicles will be made. And that'll be insignificant, really. It'll be, you know, maybe 10 million or 7 million or something like that. Then in 2027, there'll be maybe 65 million BEVs, and it'll just go up from there. So by 2030, we're talking about a mature market. And as we get into a mature market, a lot of this, the advantages that Tesla has will start to go away. Mainly, car companies will have to pivot in terms of whether they're using dealers or not. Car companies are going to be making BEVs, and BEVs are less expensive to manufacture. Their ramps will be up. They will have done their own economies of scale. They will have made their own shifts in terms of getting their costs down. So I'm going to say that the worst case situation is that Tesla is still making $10,000 per vehicle. Maybe they're still making $12,500. So you can see I've divided this chart into two parts. That would give them the total auto, auto gross profit of up to $210 billion, maybe as low as only um, $10 billion. What did I just do? Let's see, I'm sorry. Total gross profit, 
uh, yeah, be 170 billion as the minimum total gross profit. Okay, that would bring it all the way. So then other, I'm putting it at 10, 12, 14, 16. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I'm putting in overhead is 40 or 45 or 50 or 55. Maybe that's a, a, a real number, but I'm figuring it's gonna have to be like 10 times as high as it is now, but not quite 10 times. Uh, net profit, you can see what it is per share profit at that point, just for auto. Now that includes autos, trucks, semi-trucks, et cetera. Total per share would be $44 per share as a worst case scenario, as high as $71 per share um, if, you, uh, if, you, if everything goes well. Well, that's great. I mean, that, holy mackerel, would that be wonderful? Well, now let's look at energy storage. By this time, Elon says he's going to be doing a terawatt. At least some people think that he's saying they'll be doing 1.5 terawatts. Well, I haven't gone that far. I've taken my base case as one terawatt of energy storage. And that will, and, and if they don't quite make it, maybe 800. If they go over 1.1, I'm saying that the, that the profit on this remains the same. And the reason for that is this market, while it will be far more mature, there will be other players in the business. There will still be an almost infinite demand for this energy storage business. And so I don't see that the uh, total cost will of uh, uh, the profit, the total profit per per kilowatt hour will drop that much. Maybe it does. And that could have a significant impact here. So uh, play it however you like. You could go in and do the same uh, the same thing that I've done here and plug in uh, a, a, a less amount of profit. Uh, but $250 per kilowatt hour is what I'm basing it on. If you then put it, some overhead in there, maybe that overhead's a little low, um, but by this point, it's everything's fully ramped. And so I'm saying the overhead is going to be a lot less. There's probably a bunch of robots running it. Anyway, the net profit for energy then would be per share as low as $62 a share, as high as $86 a share. Oh, yeah, that's more than auto. So that's interesting, huh? <laughs> so so uh, if the multiplier is higher, eventually energy will be passing auto. The IRA at this point, if we're doing uh, one or two, let's call it two terawatts of energy at four, $45 a kilowatt hour, that would be $90 uh, as a bare minimum. Maybe we're doing more than two. Uh, there's a lot of discussion now whether Tesla will be producing possibly more than two terawatts at this point themselves, uh, since they're talking now about doing one terawatt just in the United States. So I think we'll be doing at least two. So you can see there are a little run up of what the IRA uh, tax uh, results will be. <laughs> Red credits probably will be gone by this time, but this 1 billion isn't gonna change anything That's significant. You add all that together, you put it all down at the bottom, you can see the per share at $136 per share as a minimum. If that's as bad as it is, and we use a 10 multiple, <laughs> that, that would be a thousand, Three hundred and sixty dollars um, uh, per share in terms of the the the, the price of the stock. Um, let's say that we take kind of uh, the average bull. Let's call it one hundred and eighty dollars a share, um, and one hundred eighty dollars times ten. Now you're eighteen hundred. But realistically, the company is still going to be growing rapidly at this point. Um, so it's going to be at least a two, possibly a three multiple. And this is just for cars and trucks and energy storage. So if this has been fun, if it's been helpful, um, if this gives you a better idea about uh, a really, this is conservative. It may not seem conservative, but Elon's been on the numbers. He's been on the numbers all along. Everything that he said about the numbers in general, the 50% per year is happening. The energy ramp is happening. I expect him to be very close to his numbers. He could be way off in his numbers. There could be new technology that could show up that could all of a sudden throw all of this into disarray. Of course, if there's new technology and Tesla has 100 billion sitting in the bank in 2025, they could just buy out the uh, the new technology. But uh, uh, there's so many things that could happen between now and then. So 
Uh, take all this with a grain of salt. Do your own homework. I'm not an investment advisor. This is not investment advice, but I think this is a pretty fun look at just those two aspects, really just two aspects of Tesla's potential uh, by 2030, not counting robots, not counting autonomy, not counting robo taxis, um, and not counting a whole bunch of other things like HVAC and so many others. So if you've liked it, please like. If you'd like to subscribe and definitely hook up on Patreon so we can talk about how all this is going to impact our life on a daily basis. Um, it's been great talking to you.